In this mini tutorial, we will explore local and remote site synchronization for beginning Dreamweaver students. Synchronizing your local and remote sites, in almost all cases, you will typically create and edit your web pages on your local site, and then you will need to transfer the files that you create to your remote site so they're accessible to other viewers and users through a URL and a web server. So while you can view your local pages through a web browser from your local uh, server, nobody else can. You need to put it on a remote server so they can be viewed. The first step in synchronization is in your site definition. And if we open up an existing, the site definition that I'm using here, I'll show you a few key fields that manage how synchronization works uh, between your local and your remote sites. So here we're looking in the advanced view at the local information and this local root folder is very important in that Dreamweaver will treat it as the repository for your entire site as you develop your site and it will mirror that whole site over to this directory on your remote server called the host directory so they will be if you synchronize your files correctly a mirror of one another uh, in general so those are key fields that you want to make sure are correct. So there's two concepts you need to remember, not just the mirroring, but the concept of a root directory. Uh, here, this folder spring 2010 is our root folder on our local site. And all files on the site will, will be in that folder or in folders that are children of that folder. And the same would go for the remote host directory. Our site would start with an index.html file, typically, that is sitting under that jpretz slash folder or directory on my server, and all supporting files would be either in that same folder or subfolders like images, scripts, or PDFs, or other types of supporting files. These fields down here are also very important through the synchronization process. As we'll talk about later, you can either uh, put files onto your remote server manually one by one or let Dreamweaver manage that synchronization. And to do so, you'd need to have this checked. So let's move on. Now that we have our site defined and you've seen some of the more important fields, let's move on to the key interface you'll use to synchronize your files um, once your site is defined, and that is our files panel. And here we're seeing our files, files panel in panel mode. Uh, but for this purpose, let's open it up into expanded mode. And in an expanded mode, typically the local site will be shown and its root folder, root folder here, and all subfolders and supporting files and the files of your web pages will be in that root folder. And what I'm going to do now is connect to my, my, my remote folder. Uh, and you can see it's a mirror image in many ways of my local files. It's, that's a general statement. And sometimes I don't need all the files that are on my local site in my remote site because they might just be source files like FLA flash files or PSD files such as I use to create images but not necessarily display them and publish them on the web. So let's take a, a further look at the uh, at some of the features of the files panel. One really nice feature, as I've, uh, as I've de demonstrated before, is simply just the ability to move context from site to site. For many of, the, of us that manage multiple sites, that in itself, being able to synchronize both the remote and the, re and the, lo and the local views and move that context easily across sites is a very nice feature. So, uh, some of the other features are, of course, the ability to either put individual files, they would need to be selected on my local side, and then in this case, to upload this file, I would simply click put and it would move all files, that file or any other files I've selected, to, our, to my remote folder. This is my synchronization button, and that allows Dreamweaver to use the information it collects to synchronize only those files across the entire site that have been updated since the last synchronization. And that needs, uh, we, we need to have, as you remember, in our site definition, which I can bring up just by clicking this, that 
we need to have this this setting set to use that that automatic synchronization feature. So that's an important uh, differentiator and uh, and something you need to bear in mind is that you can put files from your local to remote site individually or of course you can get files from remote to local individually or in groups as they're selected or you can allow Dreamweaver to manage that process of synchronization for you. Also remember that this here is the synchronization button even though it looks very similar in some ways to the refresh button which just refreshes the views on both sides. The next interface to bear in mind, I'm going to put this back into panel mode, is the Dreamweaver preferences. And within Dreamweaver preferences, there's a section for site. And there's some interesting features in here. One, for example, is you can choose what side of the expanded view of the files panel you want the local files to appear on. Uh, these dependent file prompts are very important. So if you choose put and get as opposed to automatic synchronization, you can have Dreamweaver ask you or prompt you to remind you to put supporting files such as image files and linked CSS files and things like that that are defined in the page but not necessarily part of the page. Uh, you could also define some of the FTP connection characteristics as well as some options about put like do you want to save files automatically when you click the put button. So that's an interface that we often overlook but offers us key features into the Dreamweaver synchronization process. So finally, let's, let's look at all the ways that now that we've got our site defined, we can actually synchronize the files. Once your site is synchronized once, I typically use the put feature. It works faster and is, is simply easier. And uh, whenever I edit a file, I'll typically just put it up to the server. Um, so uh, let's look at some of the ways we could do that. One is right on the menu. We can choose a uh, site and we could choose put and we'll put the currently selected file to the remote site as it's doing in this case. We can also synchronize from that same and this will give us insight since we have synchronization feature checked to some of the features. You can take the entire site or just selected files and synchronize those and you can have them go bi-directionally. Are the newer files likely to be on the remote side or on the local side? Uh, or do we want to put the newer files from both sides? Um, which is a true synchronization process. So another way we can do it, of course, is right from the files panel. And I want to point out that there are some hotkeys for this, uh, such as, at least on the Mac, uh, Command Shift U will just be an automatic put. Now another really nice feature is the ability to do that right from the document panel. So right up here when you're working on a page you could put the file directly up right from there. Uh, another way you can do it even easier than that is if we go to the site, uh, go back to the site definition and go to re remote info and say automatically upload files to server on save. And the nice thing about this is if we make any change to this file, let's say I just make a spelling change, even a bad one, I can save that and you can see it automatically puts that file on the server. So there are a lot of features in Dreamweaver that make it very easy to synchronize your local and remote sites. There are additional resources that are beyond the scope of this short tutorial, such as the ability to cloak or designate to tell the sync operation specific files, folders, or even file types to overlook that are only needed on the local site and not on the remote site, such as source files.